All right, so I'm going to show you how to import multi samples into Sampler. First, we're going to go into our instrument section here, and we're going to drag Sampler into a MIDI track. And underneath Sampler, you'll notice that it's got a, an imports folder. And here's my first multi sample that I've got. I've imported in. So it'd be as simple as dragging this in, and then it shows that it's dragged in 14 different samples across the keyboard and if I go to zone it'll show how it's laid out on the keyboard so if I go ahead and arm the track I can go ahead and play that sample like so now what I want to show you is how I got the multi sample into this import folder and let me show you an easy way to approach it. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this sampler here. And we'll go ahead and delete the backstrings here. And we'll put a new sampler in with no sample in it. And then we're going to go into our folder here, our sample folder. Yeah, this should be the right one. and here's our strings folder and we're not looking for the waves we're looking for this folder here uh, this this file here that's going to tell sampler where to lay these other files out so we just drag that one file in and what you'll notice is that it immediately creates that file in the imports folder but you'll see that it still hasn't laid it in here yet. So once you've got it to this point, you would then drag this backstrings file into here, and then it will lay out all your zones, and you'll be able to play it as usual. But I want to take this a step further. What we've got now is we've got this file here is referencing a folder worth of files on the desktop. So if we were to delete that folder or move it, it would no longer be accessing that. So Ableton has a way of keeping track of that for you so that you can get rid of that original folder and still have the sounds. So the way that you would approach that is you'd go to File, Manage Files, and that's going to bring this window up over here. And then you would just uh, go to Manage Set and collect in project here hit yes and then you would hit collect and save and that's what it's doing here and we'll go ahead and name this backstrings one so now that it's saved I can get out of here real quick. I can throw this strings folder away and we'll get rid of this. And when I play the keys, as you can see, it'll still play those files. So that's, that's a cool thing that Ableton does to keep track of your multi-samples.